Hey there you guys, it's your girl Kristen here. I'm a licensed esthetician, an educator, mentor, a YouTuber, and a mom. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode and be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're an esthetician, an aspiring esthetician, beauty entrepreneur. You're probably wondering who the heck are you Kristen Marie and why should I listen to you? <laughs> well let me tell you a little bit about myself. I have been an esthetician for almost five years now. I started working at a high-end spa and then worked there for two years. Then during the pandemic decided, hey, this is a great time to open up a business, right? And so I've been documenting that journey ever since it started. And then fast forward two years, this channel's at 50,000 subscribers. I have a six figure business. I have an employee working with me as well. We're just thriving, we're growing, and I want to continue to make content for you to keep you inspired, to help you grow your businesses. Comment below, introduce yourself. And we are diving back into a series I've been working on, the Pro Skin Care Review Series. I'm also gonna be reviewing some maybe more mainstream brands on this channel because I feel like you guys really like to hear about skincare. Be sure to check out all the other videos that I've done down below that you might be interested in if you clicked on this video. Uh, without further ado, the brand that we're going to get into today was highly, highly requested and it is a brand that I have a good amount of experience with as well. I started using them about two years ago when I opened up my business and it is Glymed Plus. So if you want to hear my full and honest review of Glymed Plus skincare, be sure to grab that pen and paper and continue watching. Let's get this party started. Uh, let's get this party in here. Let's get this party. Oh my gosh, Black Eyed Peas. That, I just gave away my age right there. <laughs> I don't know why that song came to my mind. But anyways, thanks for joining the party, the skincare review party. I'm excited to dive into this brand because it has been highly, highly requested. And I have done my due diligence. I've done my research along with had experience using these products and working with this brand. Uh, for those of you who are tuning in for the first time, just know that these videos are not sponsored. They're not paying me to say these things. If I ever were to be sponsored in a video, it's because I've thoroughly tried their products and I am giving you my honest feedback. Nothing's gonna change in this video. We're gonna kind of keep a similar format as we've been doing for the other reviews I've shared in the past couple weeks. We did image and skin scripts, so be sure to check out those videos and any other of my resources down below. I'm sorry if I sound a little nasally because my son got a little cold and of course he passed it to me. So I apologize if I sound a little nasally in this video, if I need to pause to take a drink of water, my voice starts getting crackly. Just hang in there for me, okay? I promise you it's gonna be worth listening to every second of this video. Before we continue, please comment below what other brands you're interested in hearing about because I wanna create content that you guys wanna see. All right, as always, I have my phone here and I'm gonna be pulling up my notes, but a little bit about the company and I was really pleasantly surprised to read more about the founder of this company. So technically the founder, Christine Heathman, started her business back in 1982. Okay, she had a brand called Advanced Aesthetics, which then eventually turned into Glymed Plus. She came up with her first few products in 1992. So we're talking dang near as old as I am. 30 years of the making of these products. I would say Christine is like the one of the pioneers in this industry, okay? She actually started the very first master esthetician license. They are located in Provo, Utah. That's where the headquarters are. But truly her career started here in Concord, California. She worked under the instruction and mentorship of, of doctors, of plastic surgeons. So she really specialized as a medical esthetician and worked on patients that had reconstructive surgeries done to the face, who had skin disorders, who had unfortunate events happen to their skin, like trauma. So she's had a lot of experience dealing with all kinds of skin types, skin disorders, skin tones. She's been a real uh, trailblazer in this industry. Knowing that someone like her is behind this company makes me feel like like, wow, these products are probably pretty darn good. So now she's created a whole line of products that are all natural. She's been televised many times putting these products on, on celebrities. Uh, she's also a makeup artist. Like this 
Christine does it all. Okay, I really hope one day that I can meet this woman because she sounds incredible. That's just a little bit about the background of the company. And now I wanna share with you about the products and kind of what to expect in their philosophy. So they have what's called a four step system. Cleanse, treat, balance, and protect. So all of their products are underneath one of those categories. As I've shared with you on other reviews, each company kind of has their unique way of doing subcategories. I like that they kind of make it as simple as a four-step system. And they are, I believe, one of the only lines I've really seen that have a specific CBD line, so a cannabis infused line, and a men's line. It's not very robust, but there is a few men specific products that they have, which I think, you know, typically you can use really any product on a male, but to have specific products that men feel like is catered to them is only gonna be more inclusive. You can get trial sizes of these products and sign up to have it a pro account with them. I tried out a lot of their products, the ones at least that I was interested in, and I'm gonna be sharing with you right now what my top three favorites are from Glymed Plus. And the very first one is gonna be the Oxygen Pore Cleanser. I have reordered this product many, many, many times. What it is, is it's an oxygenating mask. And as it sits, it's gonna start to bubble up and foam on the skin, killing that bacteria, revitalizing the skin. And at the same time, it's diving into those pores, doing what we call disincrustation. It's gonna soften up that debris and make it easier for the esthetician to do extraction. It's a fun mask. You know, people always have it on their face and they're like, wow, that's really cool. It feels like air is on my skin. Like it just feels good. So it's definitely been a fan favorite and I personally love doing it because it's also satisfying to take it off. Just one of those really great products that I keep going back to. The next product I've been really loving is the beauty oil. So it is made with all natural ingredients. It has oat oil, algae extract, and lavender extract. And it is just one of those really feel good products. It's very light and non-pore clogging on the skin. What I really like to use it for is for dermaplaning. And I've also used it with my facial ice globes at the very end of a service. Apparently you can also use Use it on your hands, your cuticles, and on your scalp to address any dryness in that area. So it's a multi-use product and it's definitely one that I've gotten a lot of compliments for as far as like after the facial people's face look just supple and bright and hydrated. Ugh, it was so hard to just pick three, you guys. I'll try to comment below some other favorites of mine, but the very last one that I'll point out is the Intense Peptide Skin Recovery Serum. Now, it's not actually one that I use too often in my, my treatments, but it's one that I personally love to use at home on my skin. Key ingredients, of course, it has tripeptides, sea whip, shea butter, and lavender, and again, more peptides. So it's gonna help to address any fine lines, wrinkles in the skin, dryness, rosacea, uh, it's oncology safe, post-treatment care. So it really helps to moisturize, lift, and firm the skin. I just feel like when I put it on, it's just, it smells good and it's luxurious and it's definitely one that is in my skincare cabinet. Now let's dive into my least favorites. As I've said before in other videos, it's not because necessarily these are bad products, it's just products that I've tried, wasn't crazy about, or I just never touched them again. Number one is gonna be the Hydrating Enzyme Mask. Now actually, this is a really popular product. I have seen so many people post this product on Instagram and Climate's always promoting it and mixing it and cocktailing it with other uh, masks. As a standalone product, I wasn't too happy with it. It was very dry. Uh, I felt like it did not spread on the skin very well. I don't feel like it was active, at least compared to the other enzyme masks and enzymes that I've used. It leaves a really not so pleasant green tint on the skin. It's it's a little hard to wipe off. I almost always have to like mix it with something. That's why I'm saying it's better to add this mask into something versus just using it as a standalone product. But I was kind of expecting a little bit more out of it only because it was so hyped up on social media. And when I tried it, I was like, eh, it's, it's all right. The next few products that I'm gonna mention are products that I've ordered. And to be honest, some of them I haven't even opened. Like I said, it doesn't mean these are bad products. It's just that I guess with my clientele and the 
other variety of peels that are available to use. I haven't grabbed these peels. So I ended up ordering the salicylic 20 and 30% peels from Glymed along with their skin astringent. Skin astringent 2, 5, and 10. So the only one that I've actually touched out of all of those was the skin astringent, was the skin astringent 2 and 5. Those are great products, but I don't, I've never touched the skin astringent 10 and I've never touched the salicylic peels. I just feel like they're so strong. I'm afraid that it's going to like be too drying on a client. I would rather use an enzyme or I'm, like I said, I'm just kind of preferably picking a different peel or product versus grabbing that. Save yourself the money. I feel like you could use something else versus using that. And also it's question whether using a salicylic that strong on a Fitzpatrick 456, it could compromise their skin. That's probably another reason why I haven't grabbed it because a lot of my clients that come in are in that range of Fitzpatrick's. Yeah, like I said, it's not a bad product. I just haven't used it and I haven't had the need to use it. The last product that I'm not too crazy about was the Super Protein Facelift Mask. Now, I'm sure you guys have seen similar products to this one out there, but it's one that you put on the skin and then as you let it sit, it starts to tighten. It looks kind of scary because it looks veiny and weird, but apparently it's supposed to firm and tighten the skin. It's great for those more aging skin types. And I bought this product and I was like, ooh, I'm so excited to try this. But apparently you have to mix it with the CBD oil. I was putting a lot of other products in to it that weren't cheap and when I would mix it up it would get too liquidy or it was too thick like it was really hard to get that perfect texture for this product and then when I would put it on the skin it takes like what 20 minutes I think to actually set and start to tighten and then it was really difficult to remove it smelled weird and I didn't really truly feel like it made a huge difference on the skin and I don't feel like the client really enjoyed it and I also didn't really enjoy putting it on the client and waiting and trying to think of things to do while we waited, you know? I understand there's certain treatments out there that, you know, people will lay there for an hour, hour and a half, just with one product on their skin, but that's just not really my style. It's not really what I want to do or charge someone to do, to lay there and me not do anything on them for that long. Not necessarily that it's bad, but I just, I didn't reorder it after I was done with it because it was expensive so that's why I used it up but yeah that was the last time oh god okay sorry y'all I'm trying to get through this review without sounding like absolute crap so hang in there with me um let's dive into the pros and cons let's start with the not so great things um number one con is that there are always always out of stock of something and it always tends to be a product that I need or that I like <laughs> and I understand there's probably those are probably the popular products and they're in high demand and you know it's hard to keep up maybe I'll eat my words one day if I ever do decide to start a skincare line but I just feel like yo if you're gonna be selling product to estheticians I'm gonna need you to be a little bit more on top of making sure it's in stock because some of these products are pretty key to my treatments, you know? I have certain protocols that I follow and for me to not be able to do a certain treatment on somebody because it's out of stock is a little frustrating. So if y'all could work on making sure your stuff is, not, is in stock, that would be great because that's what I would say probably my biggest frustration has been with Glymed. And let's talk about just price point and the size of their products. I feel like their price point is definitely a bit higher than other brands that I use and other brands that I've reviewed. I think the higher price point is honestly probably because I would consider Glymed to be a more intermediate level of products to use. They are pharmaceutical grade and the efficacy I'm sure is very high in their products because of, like I said, Christine being a master esthetician and a medical esthetician, I'm sure these products were formulated with only the best quality and mind. I do understand why they're priced higher, especially their peels and their serums and whatnot. But as far as what you're getting out of the product, I feel like you're not getting a lot. Like a lot, I feel like a lot of their products are small compared to what the cost is. There's other brands out there that are offering still really great products that are for, more affordable. And so as a beginner solo esthetician, at least when I got started, even now, Glymed is definitely one of those uh, brands that I'm like, oh yeah, every time I could buy something from them, I'm spending at least $300, like at the least, at least $300. That's probably why I only carry 
maybe like three or four of their products in my back bar. When it comes to say like a basic product like a cleanser or a moisturizer, like I'm not gonna jump at, oh, let me get the Glymed one because it's better. Now, I feel like there's other brands that do those products just as well and they're more affordable. And so that's why I tend to get those products instead of getting Glymeds. I don't know if I'm explaining that correctly, but I did order the retail size items before and I was not crazy about their packaging. Um, there was this one eye cream, I think it was a CBD eye cream. CBD eye cream is great, but it came in this like, I mean, I feel like it was trial sized. It was so small and I was like, it was a like a squeeze tube. I would have to squeeze it out and by the time I got to the end of that, that product, I was like really struggling to try to get the last bit of product out. But most eye creams are in a pump form. You see what I'm saying? Uh, a couple other products I was just like, why are these so tiny? And I'm not loving how these products look. And I think generally for their line, all their stuff looks really sciencey. <laughs> and not that that's a bad thing, but I just, I like me some pretty packaging, right? Especially if I'm paying as much as I'm paying for those products, I feel like there should be a little bit more quality behind it and a little bit more product. And really honestly, that is it for the cons. I don't have a ton of cons for them, but I do feel like the cons that I listed are big reasons why I don't carry more of Glymed in my back bar. Let's dive into the pros. I'm excited to share some of these because this is why I do carry some of their stuff. They're great at creating peels their masks and what else do i really love their serums peel wise i do feel like their peels are top quality every peel i've used on a person i feel like are potent they give my clients that wow factor it's very detailed how to use them i never really have to question whether or not this is safe for a certain skin type or skin tone they have the education to back up their protocols and that's another pro is they're very heavy on education. Seeing the founder started an institute of her own so of course her skincare company is also going to have a large amount of education. They have constant webinars, they have podcasts that are pre-recorded for us to listen to, they have in-person classes sadly in United California and they have very detailed booklets that you can purchase. I know they had created one I think it was last year about treating skin of color. Christine has a lot of experience it's treating skin of color and treating different pigmentation disorders and I do feel like if there is a brand that you're looking for to target hyperpigmentation and to be inclusive of the darker Fitzpatrick clientele that Glymed is definitely one of those brands to look into and to try out. They have all the resources to make you feel 1000% comfortable working on those darker skin tones and lighter skin tones. I mean, they're very inclusive in general. And I'm really loving that I'm seeing more of that brands, but Glymed has been that way, I believe, from the start. Since given Christine's experience, it wasn't because, oh, now we need to reformulate and rearrange to make it inclusive. I think her brand always has been inclusive. All right, and then the last but the most important Pro, oh my gosh, I wish every single darn company did this. Good job, Glymed. That's all I have to say, good job doing this. They are the only company that I work with that has a storefront, a personal storefront that was created for me, that I could put on my website, that I could put on my Instagram, that clients and consumers could go click on it, create their own little account, and order products and I get commission from it. I just think that, hey, if I'm gonna be promoting your products and purchasing them, that I should be getting commission, not only on the products that I'm selling in person, also have a point system and they have tiers to it. So they have bronze, gold, and platinum, I believe. And don't quote me on that, but it's a point system where you can earn cash back on your purchases. And every month I'm sent my commission in a direct deposit. And I love that and that the products are only sold through medical professionals or estheticians. I think that gives us a lot of skin in the game or to offer for our clients that's unique to the marketplace. And I just, yeah, I love that. As you can hear in my voice, I just rave about it because I think seriously every single pro brand should do this. I think I'm gonna wrap it up here and give you my overall experience and rating for Glymed. And now I was actually just chatting about this with Kristen, my employee, and I was like, what should I rate Glymed? I feel like I kind of cycle different products into my back bar occasionally, like some of their masks and serums, but it's not a brand that I carry a lot of their stuff. 
Um, and it's not because they're not a good brand, but it's just a brand that I haven't really uh, truly connected with as much. I think now that we're gonna get into the peel season, I'm gonna be excited to try some of their new peels and really explore that more. So I think my rating, take it with a grain of salt, uh, because it's just the amount of experience I've had with this brand and just based off of the cons I did list and the pros I listed, this is why I created this score. So I'm gonna give Glymed an eight and a half out of 10. That's still good, hey, that's a B plus in my eyes. I think the science and the CEO behind this brand is phenomenal. It's tested, it's effective. I just feel like for it being a higher price point with smaller size products and the packaging not being the best, that is why I docked some of those points off. Uh, but other than that, like, I really do truly enjoy using their products and I, again, want to explore more. Hopefully that was helpful. Please comment below if you have any other specific questions. Again, other brands that you want to hear about. And I will see you guys back here on Monday next week for a new review. And I believe next week we're going to do either Estimax or Eminence, but... Stay tuned so you guys can find out. But as always, I love you. Stay safe and I'll see you then. Bye.